Today's dish is all presented by Stone Academy. As we were just saying, a lot of uh, sleepy eyes this morning. I, I would I know. say that's true. Hopefully you made it out to the polls yesterday. It was an important midterm election. They were saying it was as people were acting as if it was a presidential election. So many people went out to the polls and voted. And did you notice at the end of your, you made your selection, yes. there were questions. Right. That you were supposed to mark yes or no to. Which to me made absolutely no sense. I, I was standing there ready to call my lawyer or, or phone a friend or like raise my hand. <laughs> I, I felt like I was taking the SATs there. I was like, uh, wait, um, wait. I didn't really know I... exactly what they were asking. They were a bit confusing. It, it would have been nice <laughs> if they put it in layman's terms maybe. I don't know. I, I, I Did you like, vote yes or no? I, I don't even remember. I, yeah, I, I, I guess. Sure, I if you want to. So I, I, I posted that on Facebook, and some right. people were saying, yeah, we, we felt the same way. It was like we were taking a, a quiz in high school. and then other We people, weren't expecting the questions to be there. Right. And, and then other people said, oh, yeah, this is a thing. I've contacted my local representative to ask what the topics were before. I, I said, hey, oh, more who power knew? to I, you. I didn't realize they would be there. But most importantly, people got out and, and voted in record, in numbers, record sure. numbers. It was awesome. And we have a new governor. That's right. Ned is the new governor. He beat out Bob Stefanowski. But it came down to the wire. I think I got my message from News 8 uh, somewhere around 8 o'clock this morning that yeah. he conceded. And, and shout out to all the News 8 employees. I mean, they had full coverage all night long, wall to wall. It was, it was pretty impressive to watch. And in the 5th Congressional dis District, former Teacher of the Year Democrat Johanna Hayes won and became the first ever African American woman to be elected to Congress from Connecticut, which is pretty awesome. And, and she's a Waterbury girl. So it's, it's cool to see her represent her hometown. Absolutely. She's very proud. All right. Uh, this is kind of a cool story coming out from yesterday's election. Mm -hmm. Sam Watterson of Law and Order was giving people rides to the polls in Litchfield yesterday. Yeah, so he's a Litchfield <laughs> County resident. He was driving people in Waterbury to their polling locations. He was wearing a Johanna Hayes t-shirt, so, so he was representing her. And uh, one of the first-time voters said she had no idea who he was until <laughs> he dropped her off and people came over to his car and were asking for autographs and, and then she realized, oh, this guy's a celebrity. So it's, oh my it's goodness. like a surprise Uber driver. I guess so. Everyone does their part Maybe there. you should do that. Maybe you should become a part-time Lyft or Uber driver. Uh-huh. I mean, you could charge a nice little rate. It for might that, be a Teresa. fun story. Like, you follow go along. undercover? Right. Ride right along go. with Teresa. <laughs> or we could call it Riding with Ryan. That, that's I've, a I think we've tried that once or twice. I think we have. <laughs> Ratings weren't great on that one, but maybe next year. I don't know. All right. Shout out to Dunkin' Donuts. They're helping us uh, stay focused this morning. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. And they're also so trying to do their part to uh, help families in need. Oh, look at that. Turkeys. Turkey donuts. Turkey right and a donut. So, so the deal is if, if you buy a turkey donut. This is the turkey donut drive that's happening now yeah. through Sunday. Mm -hmm. And if you buy one turkey donut, which is so affordable, Dunkin' Donuts is going to donate a pound of turkey to the Connecticut Food Bank. Yes. That's like incredible. Their goal is 550 14 pound turkeys. Oh They're gosh. trying to do it now and through Sunday. So, so nice. They look delicious. Are they filled with anything? Yeah, gonna, well, well, I see the munchkin. There's a little munchkin in the middle, you know? <laughs> and then you got the nice little cute design here. Which is, I'll, I'll just, just give you a Just go for it. Is it delicious? Delicioso. Oh, mm. very good. I'll take the rest of the box. Thank you. And we'll also, just save one for Dante. Also, they gave us these little pop. Yeah, and there's actually really coupons tall. too for the app. So nice. check out your local D and D and help them support an important cause, the Connecticut Food Bank. It's a no-brainer. All right, this is a pretty cool story. Halloween was a thriller for plenty of people. This is pretty wild. Downloads and streams of Michael Jackson's Thriller, they've always searched in October, but as listeners seek that horror pop classic, this year the tune actually reached the Billboard's Hot 100 at number 31. It's its highest mark since it was released in 1984. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That's, I mean, it's such a classic dance. Everyone yeah. knows the lyrics and it's perfect for Halloween. I guess Thriller never dies. It just keeps growing in popularity. New generations learn the dance. Yeah, is, is, is that your favorite Corey? It's actually the only the, one I know. The, the only one I know. <laughs> the only part of the song I know. Hopefully you have sound on your TV at home right now. <laughs> Otherwise, who, who knows what we're doing here. All right. In other Hollywood news, Michael Douglas is getting what many would say is long overdue. It's his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It's pretty awesome here. In honor of the 50th year that he's been in showbiz, on hand is friend Jane Fonda, wife Catherine Zeta-Jones, and his 101-year-old father, Kirk Douglas, who received his own star back in 1960. But it means so much to me, Dad, that you're here today. And I'll say it simply and with all my heart. I'm so proud to be your son. 
Oh my goodness, that's so sweet. Aww. Like tearing up over that. He'll, Douglas is going to be seen next in a Netflix comedy, The Kaminsky Method, debuting next week. How cool is that? That's to, awesome to that your 101 year old dad can be there. Absolutely. My so, so heartwarming.